Kyle Kaminer here at the Bryant Park Skating Rink. New York is home to quite a number of skating rinks, even a couple that are new this year. It's December in Copenhagen at the big International Climate Summit. Everybody was thinking about global warming, but here in New York, it seems like everybody's suddenly thinking about global cooling, or at least the pleasures of winter, which has only just arrived. Well, those pleasures have never seemed more fragile, so enjoy them now, because there's no telling how long they'll be around. Keeping all that ice frozen requires one very big carbon footprint. Outdoor rinks like this one have one obvious advantage, of course. Mother Nature takes care of most of the climate control, but that's not the end of the story. I spoke with Robert Ash, the manager here at Bryant Park, to see what it takes. It takes us about one week of preparation. What we have is two chillers out in the street here pumping food grade glycol, which is like a liquid antifreeze, and we're adding on just thin, thin layers of water for one week straight. And then the stuff is running throughout the whole time? Running constantly throughout, from pretty much mid-October until we shut down in late January. So tell me about these chillers. How much machinery are they? They're the equivalent of what it would take, say, if the air conditioning went down in that high-rise right there, that skyscraper, in the middle of August. They plug our chillers in to that building to cool it while they're repairing their cooling system. So does that mean it takes as much cooling energy to freeze this ice as it does to cool an entire skyscraper? Absolutely. As everybody knows, the real star of any ice rink is the Zamboni, this huge machine that comes out and smooths the ice. I am here with Carlos Perez, and he has agreed to let me drive it, which is an insane thing to do, since I don't even have a driver's license. But there you go. It is like the fulfillment of a childhood dream. Oh, <laughs> It's not very green, but it is a lot of fun, and in this setting it's even kind of glamorous. Here in Bryant Park, which is sponsored by Citigroup, admission is free. It's all a big PR stunt, of course, but so what? They took the bailout money. They owe us. <laughs> 